Okay, so I've got plenty of travel trips ahead of me, but one coming up very soon, I'm heading to South America. So I'm keen for that. Um, I'll be going with my parents. We were going for about seven weeks, so I, I cannot wait to go travel with them. Like, I've, I've been solo backpacking by myself plenty of times, but now I have the opportunity to go travel with my parents, so which will be different. Um, yeah, so why I'm here right now is because I'm showing you guys what I am packing and taking to my trip. So, let's get into it. Righto, so here's all my gear I'm taking over to South America for seven weeks. Doesn't look like much, does it? Well, to be honest, you don't really need much when you go traveling. Over my previous traveling times, I've learnt to uh, try to minim minimalize my traveling gear by less and less, because I'll show you what I've started off with. This is my first bag that I used to have, is Black Wolf, 75 litre. Yeah, this this was just way too big. You really don't need something that big. Uh, and then I went down to this thing. I actually just found this on eBay for about 40 bucks. Surprisingly enough, it lasted me. It lasted me about a year. Uh, but then the straps just started to break and it started to get a bit old and wasn't very comfy. So, now I've moved on to this. Done a bit of study, done a bit of research. Um, yeah, and found out Osprey. Is a really good brand and this is 45 litres and the thing I like about this the most is it can open right up so you have easy access to all your gear and that um, it's got a good little slot for your laptop and that too and yeah so I'm gonna try to fit all of this into this and have this as my carry-on bag so I so my goal is to not have any check-in luggage so I haven't quite achieve that yet but um yeah this is what i want to do this trip right so what clothes i've got so i've got one two three shirts or four shirts i'm actually wearing one right now i've got four pairs of pants uh sort of like three real light pants and then long pair of jeans um don't know what the weather's going to be like in patagonia uh but i heard it's really windy and probably pretty cold so i'm packing a pretty thick jumper uh, a couple pairs of socks couple pairs of underwear so I probably need those and got my malaria tablets um, these tablets are actually pretty expensive they're like five dollars a tablet but yeah sort of that's what you pay for not getting malaria and right over here is is this is where I put my passport usually um, it's also a good little slot to put in like cash in there or coins in there have you extra cards uh, I gotta take this as well this is just evidence that I've gotten my um, got my vaccine shots so I've got to show that and over to the fun technology side right so I've got my GoPro Hero 4 Black um, I actually just found out today I accidentally broke a little piece off shit so yeah I'm gonna to have to buy a new housing for that but um, yeah and I got a little mount here I actually found this online a couple days ago it's uh, called a gecko pod. The, the hands like open up, and you can you can just wrap it around anything. Like this one accessory would probably replace about ten of my other ones. So yeah, I love this little thing. Um, just got some other little knickknacks. I I don't know if I'll need them or not. Probably do. Probably don't. Uh, this is for like when I go scuba diving or deep underwater. It's just a lens to put over my GoPro, so you don't lose that color. And one of my favorite things of all, my Mavic Pro drone. This thing is my love. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to go overseas and get some aerial shots with this. Uh, I got some spare batteries. So three batteries, make sure I don't go dead. Got my controller, uh, charger. Uh, yeah, this thing here. This thing can actually charge four of the um, four of the drone batteries at once. So that's really handy to use. And this is some uh, ND filters for the drone as well. So if it's like really sunny, um, you don't have that bit of glare. And uh, oh, also with the drone, I've read a couple of things that it might be hard to get through customs or you have to pay like a tax fine. So I'll see about that. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. Okay, over here, I've got my main lens, 24 to 70. Uh, it's by Canon. And what I'm actually filming on right now is a Canon 80D. 
Um, so this is going to be my main camera overseas. And I got a little nifty 50 lens, 50 mil lens. Um, this is really good for actually cleaning my lenses. This is, this is actually just come with my sunnies. So yeah, I just decided to use that. And I've yeah, got a few extra SIM cards, SD cards and that. So I don't run out of space and memory. Um, a few extra propellers for my drone. Hard drive. Always pack a hard drive. Do not want to lose your photos or videos. So back up everything. So this is about a one terabyte. So that should be enough for me. Um, and this is my beautiful Dell. I love this laptop. It's very fast laptop. It's probably the best I've ever had now. Um, yep, yeah, taking that for sure. Got some earphones. Uh, got a life straw bottle here. This this bottle actually it has a filter in it. So that's a little filter there. So if you got any dirty water or or you're a bit sketchy about some water, if that's it's really safe to drink through that. So yeah, there's that. All right, got my phone. So I'm taking a Sony Xperia. This phone, I'll probably be doing my videos and that on, the, on that as well. Wallet, got me sunnies, got me thongs. Uh, got a real good light pair of shoes. So they'll be good for hiking as well too, I reckon. And uh, this is what I'm gonna put all my camera gear in. This bag is actually really great. It's actually by PackSafe. Um, I'll put, uh, by the way guys, I'll put a link below um, of all the gear I have, uh, so you can have a look yourself if you're interested in buying. Um, but yeah, this bag is just bag insert, and you can put your main camera in here, you can put your drone, I can fit all my camera gear, and all my drone, my GoPro, my lenses, all in this one bag. So that's what I love about this bag. The only bad thing is it, is it takes about 70% of that bag up. But yeah, okay, over here, I found these things a while ago too. This is a, they're called Tracker. Um, yeah, you can stick them to anything or just keep it with your phone or your laptop or something. And then you've got to download a um, download the Tracker app. And yeah, if you lose if you lose your items, then you can track it through your through your app. So I thought that'd be pretty handy to have just in case I lose something. All uh, right, I got me cords, charge me phone, me GoPro, me. Me um, drone, get the cords to charge everything. Um, so the adapters over in South America are a bit complicated because apparently they got like they use like three different um, adapters in a couple different countries. So I've got an Australian adapter, or the one that we use here, a US adapter, and I think they use like a European adapter as well, which I don't have. This thing here, portable charger. These are always great to take travelling. I carry this thing everywhere. That saved me many, many times. And over here, oh yeah, we got a day bag over here. It's always good to have a day bag because um, you don't want to be lugging around your one big name bag everywhere all the time. So I've managed to fit that day bag in that as well. So there you go, guys. That is all my gear that I have and that I'm taking over South America. So again, I hope you guys can follow me along my journey and I hope you guys enjoy the ride as much as I do. And let's go have fun in South America. Woo!